What's up, guys? It's your favorite storyteller, Jared, and I'm about to tell you a dream that I had. This was a dream I had not too long ago. It was also the first time that I had sleep paralysis, and it was pretty creepy. I've never experienced anything quite like it. Now, I always think that dreams have some type of meaning somehow, so I want you guys to help me figure out what it was, because I haven't come up with like any type of meaning for it yet, so help me out here. All right, let me see if I remember this correctly. I was skateboarding with my little sister. We were right outside of my local corner store. I jump off of my skateboard, and as I'm about to jump back on, I notice that a small dog has gotten onto my skateboard. This dog seemed pretty content on my skateboard. So I'm thinking about this dog, and I back up, and I look up and there is a kid there. Now this was an urban looking kid. He was, he owned the dog. Blue hoodie, he had a backpack. Um, he was around the age of 15. And I didn't think much of him, but he was holding a little white girl wearing a pink dress, blonde hair. She was a pretty normal looking girl, except for the fact that she had no face. She had absolutely no face, no mouth, nose, or eyes, or eyebrows, or anything. She just had a flat layer of skin over her head where her face should be. I try to be nice about it and not mention it to them. <laughs> try not to stare at this guy and this little girl. But I look back down at my skateboard and I see the dog walking off and... My skateboard is totally destroyed. The, the grip tape is ripping. The wood itself is in two separate pieces. So I say to myself out loud, well, I guess I have to fix it. It shouldn't be a problem. Trying to make the guy, the kid know that it's not a big deal. He replies to me by saying, why would you fix it when you can hide it? And then I respond to him, by saying, if I hide it, <laughs> I can't skate it. And then while I say that, the little girl jumps off of his shoulder onto the pavement and she gets into this strange stance. Now as that happens, the kid runs up, cl like Spider-Man climbs up the corner store building to get away the dog runs I don't know where and I'm just sitting here with this little girl and she begins to scream now here I am sleeping and when nightmares happen my first response is to try to wake myself up now normally this wouldn't be that difficult if I know something is getting intense in a dream I can wake myself up pretty quickly just mentally but this little girl at the moment she gets to the peak of her scream the peak of the horror of the dream when I knew something terrible was going to happen I try to wake myself up and then I end up laying on my bed like this halfway awake my eyes are open, but I cannot move my body. And this is the first time I've ever had sleep paralysis. So right now I'm freaking out on my bed. In my head I begin saying, Jared Griffin, Jared Griffin, Jared Griffin, just so I don't lose touch of myself, probably. That's probably why I started doing it. And then as I start saying that, I begin to get sense in my finger so I'm hitting my finger like this <laughs> laying on my bed I'm thinking about how ridiculous this would have looked if like somebody saw this so I'm doing this and then I get sense in my hand and then eventually my upper arm and I'm doing this and then I begin to be able to move again um I guess I just lay on the bed about to cry because it was so scary so really that was the dream and the sleep paralysis at the end I'm not sure what to make of it. I haven't made anything of it yet. It was just scary, man. It was very scary. If anybody knows how to interpret dreams, let me know. Hit me up. Drop that comment because I could use that assistance. But let me know what you think about this dream in the comments. It's Jared. I'm chilling. Make sure to join Team Jared by subscribing. Slap that subscribe button. Uh, tell me about your dreams. I'll try to interpret them too. And also, last week, the video that I made about the seventh, uh, seventh grade chick, 
Yeah, still haven't talked to her, trust. No, not even trying to. But um, to the guy who asked me what I thought about his question in the comments, go for it, dude. Go for it, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. Ah, I'm out of here. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.